Hey. <laughs> so I I came about this YouTuber last night and um I'll link him in my info and his drive and what he does in his channel kind of like dug me out of this hole that I was in. And this whole partly is because of a mini identity crisis that I was having and is pertaining um, my long years on social media and how I've been sort of jumping from niche to niche um, or from, I should say, topic that encompasses my whole social media or like theme. I've been jumping from theme to theme because I have a hard time having one thing own me and having like a full-blown social media where I'm only like one thing. It's kind of fucking weird to me because I'm not just one thing. Um, so throughout the years, you know, you found me either like as a yogi or you found me as like this spiritual guru or you could find me as like a poet or you can find me as um, an art, a visual artist. Um, now I'm a dancer. So I've been through all these different identities and um, it's been interesting because... Uh, they're all different communities. So when it comes to algorithms, I haven't been have I haven't had the best luck because I haven't stuck to it. When to be successful on social media, and when you kind of read into it, they ask you that you have to pick a topic, you have to pick a niche, um, something that you were gonna just focus your channel on or your Instagram on, and that's been fucking hard for me because. It's like they're asking me, put yourself in a box. And if you don't put yourself in a box, you're never going to be successful. So guess what? I just don't care about that then. <laughs> and kind of just leads me thinking, so what the hell do I care about? You know, what do I want out of all of this? Because if you're focused on, you know, being successful on social media, then you're focusing on, you know, your niche and your topic and that thing. And then like, but like, doesn't that freaking get old? But anyway, so that was sort of my identity crisis and... I was starting to think, you know, like, I'm currently, like, a dance instructor and um, a shuffler on Instagram. and But, like, that's really not all that I am. That's just a side of me. That's just what in what Instagram sort of came down to. Um, and then I started thinking, like, you know, about Twitter. And I was like, I really want to go back. I missed Twitter. It's interesting because I went on Twitter years ago to find someone to find another woman to play call of duty with which i think it's so funny and i found this beautiful community of spiritual people that i swear to god i swear to god they kind of saved my life i twitter kind of saves my life i was in a really dark place in my life i was married and um i was uh, i have trouble with expression i didn't really have a space to express myself i was in a really um i'm gonna say close in relationship where i wasn't allowed to do a lot of things so that was really hard for me and I Twitter was sort of there for me they gave me the space to be free and to explore my introspection and I was able to to ramble about it and people would agree or not but I had that space and it was really precious to me and you know as I started getting like new skills like I started doing yoga I started getting caught up in making videos about yoga or when I became a personal trainer, I started getting caught up making videos about personal trainer. Now that I'm a shuffler, I'm caught up making videos about shuffling and like, that's really cool. This is really wholesome content. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. The problem is, once again, is that I'm like spreading myself really thin and I'm trying to be one thing when I'm really all these things at once. And the one thing that all those things have in common is that they are mediums for expression. So I took a step back. Um, and I just kind of asked myself, you know, why am I doing all of this? And the reason why I first mentioned this YouTuber that I came about last night is because, um, he dedicates his channel to exposing the truths about a lot of people, specifically on YouTube, um, a lot of famous people on YouTube that, um, might paint themselves to be really good people, um, but aren't in real life and their affairs with other YouTubers. And I thought wow you know people are full of shit but wait like i already fucking know that like that's not that's not news but it kind of leads me to the whole niche thing how you have to be this perfect person if you have this mental health cha channel you have to be like this perfect person that doesn't make mistakes and this is what the audience this is what consciousness is asking of us but what it turns us into is into these machine like people where like we make a mistake and instead of like you know saying you know i made a mistake i'm so sorry you have these people straight up fucking lying to their audience um it's just it's crazy to me What's crazier to me is that I, and I tweeted about this earlier, is that as religion is fading, you know, 
people are becoming like they're idolizing others for their artistic capabilities without having a clue who they are and then they're trusting them blindly and you know then you have like big names with a lot of followers like talking shit about people that call them out and then their following comes after the person you know it's just like a lot of bullying going on right now um on the internet by people that aren't really being genuine and it just kind of brings me back to me and who i really want to be on social media and it's never been this perfect person that you know that doesn't make mistakes that um learned everything one day she just like was born knowing it or like i really always wanted to bring forth like just this authentic person because i feel like there's a lot of fakeness in the internet nowadays and we don't know what to believe because on instagram people only show us what they want us to see they only tell us what they want us to know so really in totality we don't really know shit we're idolizing people that we don't know and this is sort of like carolina that's been happening for years you know with famous people exactly it has been but the thing with famous people is that they're really careful they you can they have money to pay to put all their inconsistencies away you know but semi-famous people on social media don't have the ability to do that so then we have people like this guy that i encountered last night and you know he's picking apart all your inconsistencies and he's telling you you know you're fucking full of shit and the truth is i see that too i see it and it grosses me out on social media and i'm like god how am i supposed to be anything in this ocean of fakeness do i have to be like that too do i have to be this fucking one thing like i like i'm i'm this i I'm a deep thinker. I'm a really deep thinker. I have a lot of like insights and I have a lot of um wholesome insights about, you know, the emotional realm of humanity. But that doesn't mean that I don't struggle. It doesn't mean that I have that I don't have days where I'm anxious and I'm an asshole to my mom. It doesn't mean that there aren't days when I'm like depressed and I don't think I'm worthy of shit or I look in the mirror and I see this ugly ass person. I have those days. Those days don't go away just because you go on social media and you spread the truth. They don't. Or your knowledge because truth is subjective and that's the point of this is that everybody's truth is subjective but when we're only seeing 0.5 of their truth we don't we're not really seeing anything we're not really seeing who really seeing who they really are so this is what sort of set my soul on fire it gave me the courage to you know what the world needs people that are authentic the world needs people that aren't afraid to really say how they feel and say you know i am human i made this mistake and it's okay the world needs more role models like that because we're living in such a synthetic world and looking up to people that could be the biggest hassles in the world. You know, we have no idea. So, <sighs> kind of want to focus a little bit more on making some more content for YouTube and not just for Instagram and connecting back with all my friends on Twitter and just going back to like what I really want to do, which is help people heal through the arts. It isn't just a place where I'm showing off all my skills, although I do have a bunch. It's not my fault. I, I mean, it is my fault because I love learning. But it's not like a thing where like I'm trying to make money. Guys, if I've been trying to make money of my arts, of my talents, I would have picked one topic, one theme. And I haven't been able to do that because I just want to be free. I don't want my socioeconomic status or emotional state to depend on what my audience on any of my social medias think about me. Um, this is a platform for expression. If anybody makes money of it, that's so freaking cool. It's a side effect, but it's really scary what this is making people do. And this guy's channel really opened that up to me, and I'm so grateful for him. And 